I think we're way too excited that we've just been in the Real Madrid team box. Morning, welcome to another Max on Tour video today. We are back in the mighty Madrid. We're just having, a, we're doing a little bit of tourist sightseeing sort of things today. We're going to the Bernabeu later, so stay tuned for that. That'll be very, very interesting. If you haven't already checked out the uh, the Spain versus Romania video, go and check that out. That was very, very good. Um, we just had a little, nice little bocadillo, haven't we? Decent. Which means sandwich. We're learning the local lingo as we go as well. I highly recommend going to the place um, as well. I forgot what it was called, but I'll put it on screen now. Uh, but yeah, a few more tourist things to do. Looking at the palace and all that sort of things. And then later off to the Bernabeu, which is the main event. Stay tuned. Simon, you have some facts on this wonderful area. Yeah, so, right, so this is the Royal Palace of Madrid the official residence of the royal family in Spain, huh? has 135,000 square metres of floor space and contains 3,418 rooms and it's the largest function royal palace and the largest by floor area in Europe. Don't say you never learn anything on this channel. Look at it, it's well nice. So we're just on our way to the Bernabeu now. I've got some supplies. I've got the Villa on Tour sticker, so hopefully, if we don't get shot dead by the Spanish police, we should be able to put some Villa on Tour stickers all over the Bernabeu. So that should be quite cool. I think it's about a half an hour walk, so you'll probably see us when we're there. Kisses on my body, whisper to me softly. I can see the edge, and I hope that you're falling for me. So this is a list of everything that they've won, but have they won a championship player final? No, they haven't. Frauds, not a big club. Since so far, decent area, however, it's not it's not the prettiest at the moment. But outside the ground it's a bit grey, it's a bit concrete. I haven't been in there yet, I haven't been in there, but on the outside. That is a little bit clutching at straws. Do you know what I mean? It's not. Looks like an airport. That is that is bad. That's bad. Right, we're in the concourse. We start saying, "My old man, to be a city fan." <laughs> concourse limbs. Imagine the villa here. Absolute carnage.
I'm pretty mad this. We were just saying, it's not quite the Metropolitano for Atletico, but you can't really, you were just saying you can't really yeah. imagine it. You can't, you, can't, you can't imagine it. If this was full and rocky, for like say a Champions League game or yeah. a local derby, then it, yeah, it'd be quality, wouldn't it? You just can't tell when it's a bit empty. Yeah. But still. Mmm, decent. Welcome to corporate, look at this. It's comfy nice. there. This is lovely. Squidgy seats as well. Decent. Not a bad view as well. I've had better views, but you know, it's not bad. Hospitality, very nice. Yeah, hey, lads, we're in the box. If you're a bit injured, you go yourself on there, a bit of a sink. Oh my god. I think we're way too excited that we've just been in the Real Madrid team box. It smelt like the low cost, remember? But uh, we're way too excited. Well, we're going to the dugout. Oh. So if you're a Villa fan, you know what we're playing. About to walk out. Got hi ho Aston Villa on. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Almost bashed my head, but that's fine. Decent. Yeah, Ronaldo, what are you saying, boss? Ronaldo, fancy coming on? Yeah, he's coming on. I swear to God, my school, my school change rooms are genuinely better than this. Shocking. Right, well, Simon, thanks for joining us. You've just lost 4 0 to Real Madrid. Is your job at Aston Villa in jeopardy? Well, he's a disgraceful performance by the players in St. Helens. John again, awful. He needs, needs to be out to try and disgraceful. Oh, we're in here. Dino's at the wheel. Like we said, like from from the outside, it doesn't exactly look brilliant. I mean, it's big, but it's just concrete. Yeah, it's grey. It's a bit. It's not quite Atletico Madrid. I'll probably have to side with Madrid on this. Uh, Atletico. Uh, sorry, lads. Excuse the horrendous wallpaper. Anyway, um, just. You know, just to sum it up, I think we talked about it there, outside the ground, it's not the prettiest. Uh, Atletico's ground is very much better, um, but inside the ground, I don't think you can argue. Um, just in, in terms of the tour as well, I think it was like 20 quid, I think it's well worth the price, highly recommend it. Um, I think it's quite good as well because other stadium tours I've done, there's a tour guide, there's a set sort of time scale, you have to do what they say. But for this one, you literally turn up, scan your ticket, and there's like a, a setup route that you do, and it's pretty easy. You can do what you want. You can spend as much time doing whatever you want. Um, you know, I think it's cheap as well. Like I say, it's 20 quid, so it's well worth the price. However, at the end, the merchandise is ridiculously priced. I think a replica shirt was 90 euros. Um, like a replica coat was upwards of 150, 200 euros. So the club shop is very expensive. I would have liked to get like a, a scarf or something like that, but it was just way too expensive and I couldn't afford it. But in terms of the tour itself, highly recommend it. Do it if you're in Madrid. Go to Atletico's as well because they are both stunning arenas. But thank you very much for watching this one. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, comment which ground you think is better. Interested to see all that kind of stuff. Comment where I should go in the next one. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Up the football, up the villa, up the Spain.